thought I'd do a quick video on uh, the code reader. Right? We, we got it here. Our uh, it's a 2007 Polaris uh, 750 FST, and uh, with some help from other people on the web, uh, made up a few cables. Uh, this is what the cable itself looks like. Uh, this is for um, your OBD2 kind of style connection and code reader. Um, I had bought the Autolink AL329. Uh, seems like it's uh, going for around 25, 30 bucks. I bought mine off eBay. Um, and I just thought I'd give a quick rundown of how these cords work. So right underneath, kind of back up here a little bit, right underneath the uh, steering column, uh, there's a plug. Looks like so, it's got a green, red, and brown wire connected to it. Uh, our cable here goes from that connection, the 16 pin I think, or something like that, to the four pin, and uh, reads the code. So. What I have done in the past here is I actually hit the uh, hit the kill switch. Then I take the key and just give it a click. It ignites the code reader. And it comes up like so. It, uh, the top left one, and it just doesn't seem to be coming out, the check OBD, so I'm gonna enter that one. Some of them, um, some of them say that it, uh, it you need to program it for the vehicle. And for this uh, being a Polaris, it didn't come up. It was Ford, GM, etc. I just picked other, and uh, the code seemed to come up fine on that. And so um, it just takes a few, few seconds. Just read the system gives me I got zero codes of course and then it comes to this screen and it will say read codes if there are codes you can go ahead and read them uh, you can scroll down to erase the codes once you've diagnosed your problem and uh, and that's about it so has a few other things that I haven't really messed with but uh, that's how that's how you read the codes on your uh, Polaris FSTs. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. Hope this helped.